Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how to do a highlight at home. I am a hair, licensed hairstylist and matrix artist and I'm gonna share with you step by step the whole process. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna start with mixing my lightener. I am using two different lighteners. One of them is High Riser from Matrix. This uh, powder gives you like nine levels of lift. It is pre-bonded, which means it's gonna keep your hair integrity during the chemical process. I mix it with 20 volume developer. My mixing ratio here is one to one and a half. It could be one to two as well. Uh, and there is another lightener light master this is from matrix 2 i'm gonna mix just one scoop of that with 10 volume developer for the uh, previously highlighted uh, area that i have on my hair here is our sectionings i have four sections uh, on the back and two on the sides and i start from the nape area here my goal is to create a dimensional beautiful hair color so i would like to have a low maintenance highlight that's why i'm using teasing and weaving techniques to create a nice and soft transition okay before start i noticed that my uh, lightener got a little thicker i would like to have it a little bit uh, uh, thinner that's why i go ahead and add a little bit more of uh, my cream developer so the mixing ratio could be one uh, one to two uh, some people just eyeball it i would rather to measure it but usually for highlight the one to two mixing ratio uh, is uh, nice and easy to work with uh, I'm gonna uh, take some of the product and saturate the hair uh, and uh, when I get to the teasing area before I reach to that area I'm gonna uh, feather it up and uh, hold my foils okay after finishing the first subsection I'm gonna go and uh, grab the next section and I get the equal amount of hair from both parts on the left and side of the back of the head and drop that area down and clip the rest away so I could work with this area uh, much easier on this area I use slicing technique I took my subsection and then I back combed it. I got those teases closer to, the, to my scalp and then I grab my foil, put some of the lightener on it. I keep that the top area of the foil clean so this way it doesn't bleed on the top area on the teasing area because the look that I'm looking for is a little darker on the roots uh, so I want to use my base color basically on the root area and the hair gets gradually lighter as it go further from the scalp if you would like to get your highlights from your root you can skip the teasing part and you could go with the weaving or slicing technique uh, to get it as close as possible to the roots to keep my hair integrity intact uh, i used a 20 volume developer on my hair uh, so this way the process goes a little slower since i'm doing my own highlight it's gonna take more time so if you are doing your own highlight it's better to use a lower volume of developer on your hair because no matter what type of developer you use if you are using 10 20 30 and 40 volume it's gonna give you the same amount of lift it is just the speed that's different the thickness of each subsection that i'm taking is about two centimeter and here is a tip uh, to make your work easier as you see i put my finger on my scalp so you could easily put your finger on your scalp and um, you use your tail comb and follow your finger to take that subsection and work on it on the back of the head for teasing the hair i'm gonna take each section put a good tension on it and then use my tail comb put it on the middle of the hair and push back all the hair toward the scalp and when i got a good amount of hair in there i place uh, my lightener on the rest of the hair uh, 
the most difficult part of this process i think is foiling the back of the head uh, if you have any help or someone at home that could help you please use their helps and please consider that that i am a hairstylist and i've done this before so if you want to do it on yourself and you are not a hairstylist it's better to watch some video and do your research uh, before doing your highlight here i bring my subsection forward this way i can see it much better and then i place my product on the hair this is very helpful when i uh, put some of the product on the foil uh, before uh, putting my section on it this way it helps and that and that subsection stick to that foil much easier it's gonna stay in the place and i uh, work on the rest of the hair uh, with more control if you don't uh, saturate the hair very well uh, later you're gonna be exposed with too much warmth so many undesired orange and red uh, pigment on your hair and you have to deal with canceling all those warmth during the toning since this product is pre-bonded the hair will be healthy during the processing time uh, but remember no matter how good is a lightener or any chemical product they are still chemical so please don't use heat and go with the uh, manufacturer uh, instruction okay here the work is getting easier since we reach to the crown area i can uh, lift my section bring it up and uh, when i weave it i can literally see what i'm doing which is cool after all those foiling on the back and not knowing exactly what i'm doing this is a relief now here i'm done with the foiling the back of the head i wrap a towel around those foils and no heat should be applied on that lightener after 15 minutes i took out those foils as you see the hair is still a little bit orangish it's a dark yellow to orange so i applied a, a fresh bowl of lightener with a 20 volume developer to that area and let it process for 10 more minutes and then rinse it out and look what happened here i got bleach mark but if that happened to you you don't need to be worried i'm gonna show you a way uh, to fix it quickly uh, when we want to tone the hair here we reach the crown area. Uh, I'm gonna put two section. I'm gonna to, uh, put two foils here. Here is our first section. I'm gonna hold it, and as you see, I grab that hair with my mouth. <laughs> I use my tail comb and weave the hair. I'm grabbing some chunky lights, as you see, and then let the rest down and tease that area so the line of the highlight would be very soft and diffused to the rest of the hair very nicely and here i put the foil that way toward my face and then put the lightener on the middle of the hair and start uh, saturating and here is a tip put another foil underneath otherwise you're gonna get bleach mark <laughs> yeah but because i moved that brush like to the left and right there's a possibility to get bleach mark again and i don't want that happen that's why i put the other foil underneath i put two foils on the crown area and then when i finish that i move to the side still we are using the same technique on the side teasing and weaving just be careful to take a thin section if your section is thick and the saturation is not enough it's gonna be hardly lifted evenly and then later you have to cancel all those undesired tone for this area i uh, mix a fresh bowl of uh, lightener again it's better to not mix more than two scoops of lightener especially if you are not quick uh, because it's gonna swallow and it's gonna lose its power it's better to uh, have it fresh to get the best result 
I move to the next section. Uh, the space between the foils, the foils are almost uh, like one finger or one centimeter. And I'm uh, doing the uh, diagonal backward sections. On this area, since I had some previously highlighted hair, uh, my uh, sections are like baby lights. So as you see, the weave are uh, very, very um, thinner comparing to the back of the head. I don't want to create too much lightness around my face because I previously had a partial highlight on top and on uh, the side of the hair and the back were getting darker and darker. That's why I put more foils and uh, on the back and I used a slicing technique and some chunky lights to create more lightness. On the sides, I don't want to create too much light because uh, I look I think I look better with a, a little bit darker hair, not very light. It depends to your uh, skin color and your eye color. Uh, if you would like to get a lighter hair, you could go ahead and use some uh, horizontal uh, sectioning. Or even though if you are using this diagonal sectioning, you can use a slicing technique or a chunky like technique and take it diagonally. This way it's gonna create more lightness on the sides we put four foils so for the top area i'm taking this vertical section and using some highlight technique and tease it a little bit and as i told you i would like to uh, get this highlight away from my scalp because i would rather to see the darker uh, color on the root and then uh, have it gradually getting lighter to the mid shaft and to the ends. That's the look that I'm going for. For the next station, I am taking the baby lights. So it's gonna be two different uh, viewing. The first one was highlight, a little bit thicker than this. This one is baby light. And I am using the less back combing because I want to bring it a little bit higher to the uh, root. This is my parting area and I want to see that some lightness on the top like closer to the root. The end of the hair was highlighted so, uh, so I put some hair mask uh, on the end to keep the hair uh, healthy during the highlight. Making sure that everywhere is saturated with the lightener. And then I put another foil on top of that and fold it. And I'm gonna put two more foils on the other side of the top area. And when I finish, I, I came to the fringe area. Here I would like to uh, create a dimensional highlight. Uh, that's why I'm leaving out some of the hair between the foils. If you are looking uh, for a bolder, brighter looks and you want to create a lighter face framing hair, you could use a back-to-back -back foil technique here or you could use a slicing technique. Okay, if you are like me and you have some previously highlighted hair, to protect them, it's better to uh, um, mix your uh, lightener with a lower level of developer, like your 10 volume developer, or you could use uh, some hair mask at the ends if you have a very light end. That's what I did in here because uh, my ends were, were already lightened on the sides and on the front, uh, and I put some mask on the ends. And and later uh, I'm gonna pull a dead lightener through the ends to and leave it for a few minutes to took out that yellowness uh, color from it okay here I'm gonna mix the toner first of all I should fix that brassy stain that I got on top of my head the color that I'm going to use is 6 Neutral. It's a color sink from Matrix. This is a demi color, which is medium brown. And I mix it with 7 uh, uh, Violet Ash 
uh, one half uh, one part of 6n half part of 7 uh, VA with 10 volume developer and the mixing ratio is one to one okay I just uh, took off all those foils and shampooed my hair and use a conditioner and the towel dry it and I use that color to the roots and wherever needed uh, to be touched to uh, fix all those brassy area now this color is mixed for the end of my hair this is 9V and 7GM, 9 violet and 7 gold mocha. This color is tunnel control, again from Matrix. This is a acidic color, ammonia free, uh, no smell. You can see the real time of oxidation, which is cool. And uh, so you won't be surprised. I mix it with 10, with 10 volume developer. Uh, the mixing ratio is one to one. And I start applying from the middle of the hair to the end. And then I'm gonna blend it to the color that I already have on the top which was color sink and it was applied on the root and at the beginning of all those highlight lines and I melt these two color together with my finger so you don't need to rinse the other color out just make sure that you saturate the hair thoroughly with the color the processing time is 20 minutes guys if you find this video helpful would you please give me a thumb up and uh, leave me a comment i would love to hear from you and this is our finished product look how beautiful is the color it is not flat and dark anymore and i got all those dimension mostly on the middle to the end and i have some highlight on the top which i love because i love low maintenance highlight I, it was so hard to keep up with the highlight touch up every three months i hope you enjoy this technique and uh, find it helpful